Welcome back to MMA Oddsbreaker, ladies and gentlemen. This week I have the very talented and very beautiful Jocelyn Leibegger on the other side of the, of the camera. Um, I had a pleasure meeting her in, in Vegas here several times. We have a couple of same joint things we do for it. Uh, it it's not it ain't chemo, which is a, a cancer cancer uh, stamping out cancer and, and basically kicking cancer's ass foundation that yep. uh, Ryan Couture is part of, and and it's it's really special to my heart too because a couple of my family members died to cancer, so of course you know everyone's got that story. But that's anyway. Mm -hmm. That's how we connected with each other. Um, you were the first, well, the, the first openly gay fighter that I knew. Like you, yeah. you were the one that, like. You didn't care. Like you did never, it never bothered you at all to be who you were. And as I said before the interview started, I wish more men were like that if in, the, in the same boat. I mean, just by, by default, there has to be gay men that fight. There just have to be. Uh, whether they're, they're bi, they're gay, or whatever, there have to be men like that that compete. Um, yeah. How tough has it been for you as a female fighter, one, because the talent level is not that deep, and two, being open about your relationship and, and being on Instagram with your relationship and, and on Facebook about it. Have you had any backlash from any of the fans or, or any of the sponsors or anything? Um, sponsors, no. From fans, you know, when I do when I do in, interviews and stuff like that, of course, people have mean comments to say, you know, about either it's my hairstyle or whatever. You know, there's always people lashing mean comments. And when I look back at it and read it, sometimes it hurts my feelings. But then sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I just I just get over it. Carla Esparza said a good comment to me one time because there was this mean comment. I did an interview for uh, Middle Easy and this somebody, I don't know if it was male or female, post this horrible comment about my gap. Oh. And, I, you know, and it was just this comment that just hurt me. And Carla was like, Jocelyn, you got to remember that they're going on that website to watch your interview. They watch your interview. Then they post a comment about your gap. Yeah. So, you know, pr pretty much, you know, keep talking about me. You're making me famous. So if people want to talk about my gap. That's fine. I'm not before Misha came out, Kat came out for a little bit. So it, was, it felt good to hit, hit some girls and stuff like that when I'm always sparring against the boys. Um, but but I've been there for a year and a half now, and, and uh, I've came leaps and bounds. And, you know, everything is um, is time there, meaning, like, we're all on the same – like, people think, like, Ben does different things, but the professional team, we're all on the same, um, like, schedule pretty much. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, Ben doesn't do his own thing. We all do it together. We all do strength and conditioning together. We all have mitt work. We have, you know, ground, stuff like that. So um, it's just, it's amazing. I love it. And I'm really excited about this fight because I haven't fought in Arizona in three years. It was the last time I fought in Arizona. Oh. And I'll be the only girl fight, you know, the only girl bout on the card. And then also three of my teammates are who fight at a lab are also on this King of the Cage card. So there's going to be four of us from the lab. So it's going to be a full house. Now let's, let's reverse just for a second and go back and talk about Benson. How did he look during his training camp? And, and how, do you, how, do you, how did you see his progression? Because every time to me, it seems like he fights, he improves by 5 or 6%. Where a lot of guys at his level, especially at the top of the game, only improving maybe one or two percent. He seems to make serious jumps every fight. I'm kind of interested in how that pulls together, especially from your point of view. You're somebody that trains alongside him every day. Mm. Uh, we we have something we go about is uh, we get one percent better every day. We have to do something different. We have to learn something new and drill it constantly every single day. Thousand reps on. You know, we we still drill triangles, armbar, a thousand times a day. You know, because with muscle memory, we have to get better at everything we do. Um, I mean, when you saw his last fight, how he did the the thigh punch. Everybody talks about that when he did that to Nate. That's something they pull out. But he's going to be doing a lot of tricks tonight. So. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to against Gil Melendez. It's a it's a pretty tough bout with with Gilbert. And uh, I've known Gilbert. I've commented a lot of his fights. I've known him for a long time. I've only recently got to know Benson. I, I didn't know him before he was in the big leagues. I just, I just didn't know him. Unlike Gilbert, yeah. I've known him for a long time. I actually knew his dad before I actually knew Gilbert. And it's going to be one of those fights where both guys have to bring their A game. But whoever trained better and whoever is, better, is more on tonight will be the victor. It's not one of those, this guy's just you know, a little bit better, a little bit, you know, one guy's a little bit better than the other. These guys are evenly matched up, just different ways than what everyone thinks about. Yeah. So I'm really excited for this fight tonight. It, it's it's going to be interesting to see how it pulls together. Are you going to be, you're obviously still in the uh, in finish up? Uh, I see like 
when Misha was here for three weeks, like we were trying, we were training hard and my, my weight kind of dropped really fast and I didn't want it to. So I kind of had to eat more and stuff Okay. because I fight, you know, I fight at 125 and when she got here, I was about 140 and then it started going, dropping down like fast, like 134. And I was like, what the heck? So I started eating. So I'm, I'm 140 right now. Comfortable. So oh, okay, I good. I got my six pack and everything, and then I'll start dieting now. <laughs> now, do you? Uh, I see some pictures on on uh, um, Instagram. Is it you that rides a lot, or who is it that rides a lot that road bike? No, that's uh, that's Jana, my partner. She's a okay. uh, she's a triathlete, so um, oh. she's training right now for her next race is uh, the weekend before my fight. So she has Tempe International May nineteenth. And uh, she has got got me into it. You know, this morning we went for a nice run. It's about so we did about seven miles. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll get on the bikes. But it's just it's so because I do CrossFit too, and then I got her into CrossFit, so she fell in love with CrossFit, mm-hmm. and uh, she got me into you know swimming more and stuff like that. Which she was surprised that I could swim so well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I've been road biking it's a lot. good to mix up the training, you know? Absolutely. We I, get bored in the gym every day. I got, uh, my knees got bad, my ankles got bad. I couldn't run anymore, so I started road biking. I, you know, we rode, uh, we did hill sprints today, but it's 15 miles of hill sprints. So for me, nice. I don't have that endurance system. Like, I can't go for a long time. Mine, mine is a hour and 15, hour and a half system, mm-hmm. but... Today, we're like, oh, let's do hill sprints. Now, I'm okay on hill sprints. Like, I have the power I can maintain. Was I behind the high-level amateurs? Yes. Am I behind? Am I still the weak link in the group? Yes. But I do notice a huge difference in my cardio system when I go in and I have to train uh, jiu-jitsu. Or I got to go in and train boxing. Like, all of a sudden, my mid-level is higher because of my road biking. Then, all of a sudden, my top level is higher. I'm 40 years old. And you're supposed to only be, like, it's, it's 220 minus your age is your maximum heart rate. So I'm supposed to be at around 180. Well, I'm hitting mm-hmm. 190, 192 constantly without a problem and maintaining it, not that 30 seconds you're supposed to, but like a higher level athlete where I'm maintaining it for 45, 50 seconds. You know, when I crash, I crash. Like it's a complete yeah. fall off the map. But to me, it's amazing how much road biking, just, just road biking, has improved my system. Do you have, yeah. feel that same difference when, you do an, when you're swimming and biking and running? Do you get that same feeling too when it translates over into MMA? They're, uh, Are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking you. Yes. Um, I mean, yeah, but the breathing is still different. Like, like the pain. You know that feeling you get when you're sparring, where you just gotta get over that hump, and then you feel okay. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. I mean, I haven't done a race or anything like her. She's, you know, done Iron Man and all that crazy stuff. You know. Yeah. What? She's, she's legit. You know. <laughs> and um. You know, just why she's she's awesome. But I, she took me on my first bike ride. What did we do? Like twenty five miles, and what did we do? We did twenty three miles, and it it was hurting me. Like I, my butt was hurting in parts yeah. it hasn't hurt before. But uh, it, it is yeah. it is different. But having CrossFit and our strength and conditioning coach that we have at the lab. I mean, you see Ben, he doesn't open his mouth for five rounds, you know, like he just keeps going. Well, that's because there's a toothpick in there. He can't open his mouth. If he opens up the toothpick. <laughs> he always has that toothpick in there. He really does. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> no, but like I was saying, it's, it's fun to do different stuff like CrossFit. I mean, I don't overdo it at CrossFit, you know, right. John, she's really on me about that. You know, not to overdo it. He's on Jamie, too, not to overdo it. But uh, it's just good to mix up the training and do something different with our bodies. Okay. Well, Johnson, thanks for coming on here at MMA Odds Breaker. I really appreciate it. Good luck on May 25th against uh, Jessica Connect. It's, it's, I think it's going to be – I'm very interested to see how this fight pulls out. I really am just because of uh, – uh, I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. And I love how you compete and I love how you train. So I, I definitely want to uh, see this happen as quickly as possible.